Okay, let's do this. Let's do Kazador's Palace, I think. Okay, this works even if I don't have a spell slot. Okay, well, let's put it on then. It looks like it also gives off light, but it doesn't say that it does, so maybe it doesn't. I'm not sure. Okay. Walk in death. I think the, yeah, we, I think we have to go up here. Central watchtower of the flaming fists. Hands down. Squinter. I can sneak in. The security shouldn't be too tight. A few charm innocence, maybe. Shall we? I don't think there's any other way in. I'm pretty sure this is the only way to get in there. Master Astarian. But the time is almost here. You should be at the ritual. Hurry. The palace is being sealed. You must not be late. You must not anger the master. It is the ascension. The master expects all his children to attend. You must not be late. One of them? The fangy ones? No. Your teeth are pointy, but tiny. The mean, hairy, fangy ones would maul you. Hmm, so he's not talking about vampires. Something with hairy and fangs. That could be a lot of things. So I guess here's their spot where they can see out into the plaza. Keep an eye on things. Let's see here. Oh, well, there's a chest. Sure, I'll take that. There's some etiquette. I wonder what the statue's are. It's the door just unlocked. <laughs> oh no. Oh wait, right, Lizelle is not quite ready to level up. Onward. Oh, she already has 20 strength. Okay then. I think we'll do Constitution. Yeah, because the thing is she has some penalties from the... Yeah, so see, she only has... Minus, has minus two there. Why is this Tarn's health so high? I guess it's not that high. Everything must be clean. Everything must be perfect. Sinister door. Door to Cazador's ballroom, where he hosted his most hedonistic nights. You've never seen it closed, let alone locked before. The door is covered in intricate text, and you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small, round hollow engraved with the Sire family crest. The indentation seems to be the right size and shape to fit a signet ring bearing the family crest. Only a few people wear such a ring. Cazador and Godi, your old kennel master. The writing means nothing to you. You can't even recognize the script. The door is covered in intricate text. But you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small engraved with a family crest. It's written in archaic Kozakuran, a rare version of an already obscure language. There are inscriptions like this all over the palace. Cazador strictly forbade us from learning the language. 
You can make out enough to recognize an incantation, but the specifics elude you. You can tell you're missing something, though. You spot a reference to the family signet. Okay, so we need a ring and we need somehow to unlock the door. A little souvenir. Oh, I. I <laughs> okay, sure. So we need a ring and some way to decipher the text on the door, probably. Left a fake, left a fake body. Whatever killed this werewolf burned it up from the inside. Its throat and innards are more liquid than solid. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that is clothing. I wasn't sure. This dictionary looks like. Necrotic magic, an old favorite of Cazador's. Uh, best not get too close. Behold, one of Cazador's cheapest tricks an illusionary. Behind it is the kennel. A fetid little cell he throws us into when displeased. There's our ring. I've never seen it up close. There's even an inscription on here, in the same language as on the ballroom door. Not that I can read a word of it. This is where the spawn were kept. When we were getting neither the carrot nor the stick.
looking ahead. I don't know if I have this spell. Recover your strength. Ugh. Still alive. So that's progress. Ah, see, this guy's also cursed. I feel so weak. There's necrotic magic at work here. Oh, it does 20. Oh, my goodness. Beware, forbidden, and seal. Are I've seen this language before. Inscribed on the Tsar's signet ring, I think. Something good here. Ah! I hope. Don't waste a step. Historian. Quick steps. Everything must be. The door remains sealed with naught to. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kosakuran script from the dictionary you found. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door swings open. These things have stayed interesting. Careful, I buy it. Let's move. Run away, spawn! The master's scent is all over you. We bring you to him. We get his favor. Sorry, Astarian. Oh, yeah, that's right. Nathan. That's a problem. Because this door cannot be opened. Oh, nice job, dude. You gonna do the same thing? Okay, decent, decent. Hit three enemies. Okay, weaknesses, friend. Just immune to physical damage. The skeleton wizard are fucking amazing. over there. Thank you. 
Master has ordered a special party of Final Face tea set. Stand on a clean metal platform. A beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age. Signs of things dragged onto it over the years. But it seems to be in good working order. What in hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. travel from here, but we can't fast travel to here. The elevator lies ready to carry you. Let's get out of here. Still breathing, despite everything. on the elevator's platform, you can... What in the hells? I never knew any of this was here. door to the ballroom upstairs. This door features no keyhole. It does have an indent. The ring slots per Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me, and the others. I'm just surprised to see such wretched-looking specimens. Casador had a more refined palate than this. You... I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. <laughs> No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. It can't be. Don't. Not now. I know so many of these faces. They're my conquests. I pursued them, seduced them, and brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one so we'd have source of this cursed ritual. How long? What? Oh. 
How long have I been down here? 170 years. You were one of my first. My family. My friends. They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me. There's no escape. No escape for us. And no escape for you, Astarian. This nightmare never ends, and it's your fault! You did this, damn you! I damn you to the hells! I damn you to misery! I damn you! Sebastian, I feel ill. All the fools and villains who ever fell for my ploys, they're, they're here. I don't know anymore. I thought these people were, were drained and buried. They should be dead. But why, why does he need them alive? What possible use could they have in this ruined state? All the blood he demanded. I thought he was gorging himself on... He never could have finished half of it. He never let us drink. He never wanted us to know. I had no idea there was worse than drainage and death in his hand. I couldn't imagine. We must find Kazador. This must end. Our enemies are Tarim and I got another curse for you to remove. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Best be on my way. Let's see. Oh boy, this is gonna be my first boss that I've added an extra action. Hopefully it worked. I don't think there's any reason to talk to him. Alright, Astarian. Let's do this. Who stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy! Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family. You should be begging our forgiveness! Look at you. Forgiveness? You've never forgiven anything. Every mistake. Every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things, even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No! No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me! I suspected you would return to me changed. Never did I imagine you would be so wretched. Oh, thankless child. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? You son of a bitch. You truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic, 
hectic little boy who never amounted to anything. <laughs> But today, you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I will ascend. Oh, I forgot that's concentration. Kind of hurt me too, but you know, it, it was worth it, I think. Oh, I already used my action in for some bloody work. I thought they fixed that before that would or before that would kill him, but they were supposed to change it so that it wouldn't kill him. What have you done? You ruined everything. Is he talking to me? Oh, he didn't want me to kill that one, so he. Oh fuck! I forgot about that. <sighs> okay. Uh. This is unexpected, as he sent you here to parley on his behalf, hmm? Will he not even speak? You came here holy. This is seven him. Blessed are you. You think you can stand against me? I am the Im Disarming attack if they don't have a weapon.
My path be true. If not over, then through. There can be no respite. for you. Wake up! Get your hands off me, worm! Ha! <sighs> I'm not the one in the dirt. One last thrust. And I'll be free of you. I'll never have to fear you again. But if I finish the ritual you started, I'll never have to fear anyone. Ever. You think me a fool? That I would allow anyone to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place? Hm? The runes I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual. Complete it, and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed, you included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you to be consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. Get over here! We can do this. I need your eyes, in a manner of speaking. What do you think you are doing? I'm making what you made me. Use the parasite. Link your mind to mine. Through your eyes, I can see the scars on my back and copy them onto his. You would not dare! I would. And I will. You will be consumed, and all the power you've lusted after will be mine. Astarian, I've known this craving too. Craving for power, for control. But I fear your lust verges on madness. Help me do this. Please. Your minds join and your two selves become one. You can feel the knife in your hand, see the scars on his back, and taste his hunger for power. Yes. Yes. I see it. What are you doing? Don't! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! No! Grateful child! Wretched child! Time to take your place. Don't you 
power flowing into me! Nunc volo potestantum quam polici tus es me! That ache in my stomach, that hunger, it's gone. I'm free. I'm finally free! Oh! Oh, it feels delicious! I did. We did. Come on, let's get out of here. I have a brand new world to explore. I'm surprised Lady Zell was against it. High security vault number three key. Hmm. All's well that ends. Well, not as bad as it could have. This is it. The hopeless dream dreamt by all of my kind. I am the greatest vampire to ever walk this land. Even the Pale Knight would have knelt before me. I felt so very little for so long. My edges dulled over the numb years rotting in the boudoir and kennels. Now, I can hear it at last. See it at last. How oh, all the lowly creatures of this plane are begging to serve. <laughs> How to call upon them. Scurrying footpads in their safe houses. Rats below our feet in their filthy holes. The crows in the night above! They will obey. The world will stir in fear. <laughs> the sport. It won't take long to get a new army. I'll make new ones soon. I already hear the world whispering in sweet surrender. And I feel alive. <laughs> what about the dagger, Chief? There it is. Yeah, if the Cherished Necromancy staff is not going to work. The ready. Which, I can't really tell that it is working. I do not blame him. How dare, Spawn. Spawn? <laughs> I am the Vampire Ascendant. Gah. And I thought I was done with your wretched little tribe. We're not done. Not even close. My name's Alma. My people are monster hunters. Those of us that remain, that is. Your companion attacked us in the night and stole our children. Then his master decimated what was left of the tribe. <laughs> you can't blame a spawn for the sins of his master. Any good monster hunter should know that. True. 
So imagine my surprise when I heard you'd fled. Heard you were a rogue spawn, free from Cazador's control. We searched half the Sword Coast for you, hoping you could help us destroy him, only to track you right back here. And what do we find when we arrive? One blood-sucking beast replaced with another. Our children sacrificed to birth a monster. Oh, please. There's no need for such language. You wanted Cazador dead, and now he is. I even killed a few thousand spawn whilst I was at it. You should be thanking me for saving you the trouble. Oh, I don't know. This might be the perfect place for them to die. Look at the hate in their eyes. They won't ever stop hunting me. We gave you a choice, and you chose power. As your kind always does. But I still have hope for you, that you will make a better choice. Will you stand against evil? Will you help us destroy this monster? Lady, you have no idea who I am. <sighs> then you are as much a monster as he. He wishes. Kill them. was very, very satisfying. Who better to test these new powers on? <laughs> <laughs>